during the brief time that John Cha was visiting a John Mun. And John Mun made a comment about how the practice should be done in the shape of a circle, all year round, everywhere you go. Because after all, your suffering is a problem not only during the rains retreat, but also throughout the year. It's not a problem only when you're here at the monastery, but wherever you go. Your defilements are defilements not only here, but wherever you go. So these are problems that have to be addressed all the time, which means that we all have to be self-starters. We can't let situations around us determine whether we're going to practice or not. It may be difficult, it may be easy, but it's all too easy to for us to say, well, it's too early, it's too late, it's too hot, it's too cold, it's too whatever. And the practice that could have been done and during that time just doesn't get done. So try to make your practice in the shape of a circle wherever you go. It's something you do. The techniques you learn for the breath meditation are applicable not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but wherever you go. The breath is always the breath. And there are things you can do with it to make the present moment a lot more livable and make the mind a lot more stable in the present. Because the mind does need a, a center around which this circular practice practices, a place where you receive things and then decide whether you want to deal with them or not. Another image from the Johns is that you're in the house, you're sitting on a chair. You've got the only chair in the whole house. Everything that comes in should be re treated as a guest, a potential guest. And there's some guests you don't want. You can send them out. And even the other guests that you do want, you don't want them hanging around too long. So you want to make sure you're in the seat. Make sure they don't take over the seat and push you around. So give the mind a center right here in the present moment. Give it a place to be with the breath that feels good, that feels solid, that feels refreshing. So that when you're dealing with the, the circle around you, you're, you're coming from a place of refreshment, you're coming from a place of strength. And that way it's a lot easier to do the skillful thing, think the skillful thing, say the skillful thing, wherever you are. So whether you're here at the monastery, you go home, you go off on the retreat, Make sure your practice is in the shape of a circle, and it's got a center from which it can deal wisely and skillfully with everything around it. 